is nice to meet you. My name is Victor Temprano. I'm going to be taking you through this course on React.js. I'm really glad that you signed up or that you're checking it out. Um, we're going to walk through a lot of information in this course and we're going to get you up to speed on an extremely useful and uh, saleable uh, skill which is React.js. Um, so my name is Victor Temprano and this course is going to run through everything that you would want if you were just getting started with React. We're going to go over just what React is, all the way up to building out a small, small scale application, but with a lot of methods and um, structure that you'll be able to take into much more complex projects. Uh, we're going to go over using external data, libraries, we're going to go over this thing called Redux that you've probably heard of, we're going to go over state and props and a whole lot of new terms, and I hope that uh, my very practical approach to my to coding will rub off on you and you'll be able to just get into projects without worrying too much about all the terminology. So a little bit about me, just so you know, I'm not just a totally random person. Um, I do have quite a lot of React.js experience, um, at least two years working in React.js almost exclusively, uh, doing a lot of complex interfaces, building administrative interfaces, working with uh, different kinds of data that are being pushed uh, live or sitting on a s static server, hooking up with different types of APIs and databases. Uh, I do a lot of mapping work, which is quite complex in terms of interfaces. Uh, so I have a wide range of website and client experience. In addition to my React uh, as well, I started off just doing classifieds in my local area uh, 10 years ago and just finding a couple clients here and there, making some kind of junky old websites, teaching myself along the way. And uh, over the years, I've become obviously much more professional about what I do. And uh, now I run a small company where I do mainly front-end design around maps. And I do also teach JavaScript either in person, locally, occasionally, or I do a lot of tutoring on uh, a couple uh, freelancing websites out there. So this is me, of course. and. Uh, Let's move on to the course structure so we go over it just a little bit more before we're getting in. So every section, uh, I've listed six of them here, which there are six, has videos, quizzes, uh, or one quiz, and assignment. So there's of course the videos, which are going to range generally between about three to, I think the longest one I've made is 17 minutes. Uh, i tried to keep them around 15, but just a little bit over. Uh, so you're going to want to watch all the videos, of course, maybe um, a couple of them more than once, just to see what I'm doing on the screen. I'm going to be doing a lot of coding in those videos. It's not just going to be these slideshows. Um, from there, uh, in every folder or every section, you'll be able to find some course notes, which contain a brief summary, a uh, very brief summary of what I went over in the videos, as well as uh, a little instruction for the assignment and five a uh, five-question quiz. Um, which the answers are on the next page of that course notes. Uh, for the assignment, just try to follow the instructions. You'll have usually some bug, um, bug filled code, or a new feature to add. Uh, and you'll have to just go in and fix that or get that going. And in the solutions, uh, you'll be able to see some code that I have that have wor has worked well. And in a lot of cases, you may have to paste that code into your project in order for it all to. Uh, compile and run properly so that you can you can see the solution. And of course if you have any questions or if something in the course isn't working um, I'm always happy for you to get in contact with me. Uh, my contact information should be available on this course or go through Edgeonics and uh, we'll be able to sort things out for you. So the sections here in this class are going to be first we're, we're in this getting started section where we're just going to do introductions, some basic definitions of React, and set up just our working environment that we're going to be coding in. Then we're going to go over uh, React and JSX. We're just going to start working in the syntax a little bit more. We're going to make uh, our own little little pages that don't look very good, but they do be able to say some words on the page. Basically a hello world example, and a little, little bit beyond that. Talk about how React renders in um, HTML. Then we'll move into state and props, where we're starting to work a little bit with data inside these things called components. Um, and from there, we'll be talking about uh, things like internal data, passing data between components, how you switch things in the interface and use events, and all kinds of other things like that. 
Then we'll be moving into data and libraries, and we'll be doing um, some more complex work, work with data that doesn't involve just sitting inside a component, messing around with interface, but fetching data from external APIs, uh, using third-party libraries, and how we're going to be able to integrate them, looking at documentation, that kind of stuff. Then we'll move into Redux, which is pretty crucial for a lot of React projects these days of any reasonable size. And you're probably going to need to get a handle on it if you want to work in React really at all. So I'm going to take you through the basic setup of a Redux project, as well as we're going to actually make some code to make that work. And this is probably going to be one of the more complicated sections for you, since there's a lot of terminology and a lot of boilerplate to get through. Um, but in the last section, we're going to wrap it all up with a, a completely fresh project from scratch. So you kind of get a chance to see all of this put into action uh, in the real world. And there's going to be a, some practical bits of um, code that I hope will come in handy for you when you're working on your own projects. So without further ado, why don't we just get into talking about what React is and um, get on with the next section.